Alan Matheson Turing was an English mathematician, computer scientist, logician, cryptanalyst, philosopher, and theoretical biologist. His ideas led to early versions of modern computing and helped win World War II. He is the father of modern computer science. And so on. Then let's begin. Alan Matheson Turing was born on June 23, 1912, in Paddington, London. His genius was apparent from a young age. At 13 years old, Turing studied advanced modern scientific ideas, such as relativity, on his own, running far ahead of the school syllabus. In 1931, he began attending King's College at the University of Cambridge, graduating in mathematics three years later with top scores. He began pursuing a fellowship from King's College in 1935, during which he published the paper, On Computable Numbers, with an application to the Entschuldung's problem. It was in this paper that he drew references from Austrian mathematician Kurt Gödel's research to develop simple imaginary devices, which came to be known as Turing machines. According to his hypothesis, such a machine is capable of calculating anything that can be quantified. The modern computer came into existence because of this assumption made by the young Turing. During 1936-38, he was taught at the Princeton University, by famous American logician, Alonzo Church. Along with lessons in mathematics, Allen was also taught cryptology. Towards the end of this period, he was able to get his PhD from the university. After two years at Princeton, developing ideas about secret ciphers, Turing returned to Britain and joined the government's code-breaking department. The young mathematician was appointed to break the code sent by German officials during World War II. The codes were sent through the radio machine, Enigma. In 1939, the Polish Cipher Bureau had shared with the GC and CS their method of breaking the codes. After September 1939, joined by other mathematicians at Bletchley Park, Turing rapidly developed a new machine called, Bombay, which was capable of breaking Enigma messages on an industrial scale. By one estimate, his work there may have cut the war short by up to two years. He's credited with saving millions of lives. In 1942, the brilliant mathematician went to the United States to study the methods of breaking the naval enigma codes that were being employed by logicians at the Computing Machine Laboratory in Dayton, Ohio. The Turing test is still used to measure artificial intelligence. Can a machine fool a human into thinking they are chatting with another person? That's the crux of the Turing test, an idea developed by Turing in 1950 regarding how to measure artificial intelligence. Turing argued in his paper Computing Machinery and Intelligence that the idea of machines thinking is not a useful way to evaluate artificial intelligence. Instead, Turing suggests the imitation game, a way to assess how successfully a machine can imitate human behavior. The best measure of artificial intelligence, then, is whether or not a computer can convince a person that it is human. Turchamp is a chess program developed by Alan Turing and David Champernown in 1948. It was created as part of research by the pair into computer science and machine learning. Turing was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of London in March 1951, a high honor, yet his life was about to become very hard. In 1952, Turing was arrested after reporting a burglary in his home. In the course of the investigation, the police discovered Turing's relationship with another man, Arnold Murray. Homosexual relationships were illegal in the UK at the time, and he was charged with gross indecency. In 2009, UK Prime Minister Gordon Brown issued a public apology to Turing on behalf of the British government. He truly was one of those individuals we can point to whose unique contribution helped to turn the tide of war. So on behalf of the British government, and all those who live freely thanks to Alan's work I am very proud to say, we're sorry, you deserved so much better. His conviction was not actually pardoned, though, until 2013, when he received a rare royal pardon from the Queen of England. 
From 1951 Turing had been working on what is now known as artificial life. He published The Chemical Basis of Morphogenesis in 1952, describing aspects of his research on the development of form and pattern in living organisms. This famous British mathematician was also a long-distance runner, who appeared for the British Olympic tryouts in 1948. He lost to the famous runner Thomas Richards, falling short by 11 minutes. The 2014 movie The Imitation Game was based on Alan's life. In the movie, British actor Benedict Cumberbatch played the mathematician's role. I heard about what happened. It's all the girls in Hut 3 can talk about. I have an idea of what might cheer you up. So because no letter can be encoded as itself, there's already a handful of settings that can be rejected at the outset. In 2012, an Alan Turing-themed edition of Monopoly was released. Turing had enjoyed playing Monopoly during his life, and the Turing-themed Monopoly edition was designed based on a hand-drawn board created in 1950 by his friend William Newman. Alan Turing had some odd habits. Like many geniuses, Turing was not without his eccentricities. Did you know that he wore a gas mask while riding his bike to combat his allergies? Instead of fixing his bike's faulty chain, he learned exactly when to dismount to secure it in place before it slipped off. He was known around Bletchley Park for chaining his tea mug to a radiator to prevent it from being taken by other staffers. On June 8, 1954, Allen was found poisoned at home. After the autopsy, it was concluded that he had taken his own life by consuming large quantities of potassium cyanide. 